channel finally i am back where i can make me a sit down video so i do have today for you a haul um a bath and body works haul and then my next video um tomorrow will be uh, my elf elf cosmetics haul that i did buy from um the black friday sale and so um stay tuned for that but yeah so let's just get into what i got from bath and body works all right <laughs> i had to throw on a necklace i'm like i'm washing out or something right here just trying to get the lighting and everything um right well, not washing out i guess i just look like plain i guess that's what i'm trying to say but anyway let's get into the uh candles that i did get let's see what i got i only got seven candles this time but i got different ones from the last time i went i went because y'all remember like i was not impressed with whatever i got last time so let's dig into this uh first one i have here is a gingham And I really, I like this scent, but I like it in my guest bedroom for some reason. It doesn't even match colors, but it smells so good in there. I wonder if I take it anywhere else, would it smell good? I don't know. Um, it's not a really heavy scent. It's very light. So um, that room is kind of small and cozy up there. And it just, it burns really well up there. So this is like a staple, if you will, for up there. And I normally don't, this is only my second candle that I've bought of this. I don't burn it a lot because I don't spend a lot of time in that room, but uh, I don't know, I attached this to that room for some reason. Roll with it. All right, let's see what I got next. White tea and sage. Let's see. Yeah, this is very light and airy. Um, it's pleasing. So I believe that this would probably go well like in one of my bathrooms. Um, when I have company over or maybe any other small space because it's so light and airy, but I did like the packaging. It also matches um, my bedroom, my guest, my upstairs guest bedroom and uh, upstairs guest bathroom. You know, I have those blue and gold and brass tones, gray is in there. So I think this will go, it'll pair really well upstairs. But this gingham was for my downstairs guest bedroom. Um, so, two different spaces. Um, champagne toast, and I'm sitting here talking about, I don't get a lot of these, but yeah, y'all know you always gotta throw that in, right? Champagne toast, very nice. My husband really likes this, and he doesn't really know what it is, but he always compliments it every time I'm burning it. So I'm like, yeah, if I told you it was a pink, flirty, girly candle, I don't know if you would like it as much. <laughs> here we go, ooh, a new one, bubbly rose. Got that. Oh, this may be rose. Okay, bubbly rose. Sunday fun day vibes. It's very light too, but I it reminds me of Sunday fun day that I can't really have anymore because it's winter and you normally do patios and things like of that nature uh, when it's warm outside. So that'll give me my feeling to have my own little in home Sunday fun day, if you will. Got three more mahogany teak wood, but this time I got the intense. So you guys know I don't like mahogany teak wood, but it smells so good burning downstairs, like in my because my common area is open. Like it, it goes, the ceilings go all the way up through the upstairs. Very open concept. So this smells really good. It's not too feminine. It's not too light and dainty. So it kind of, the scent kind of gets everywhere, if you will, and I love it. I do not like this scent. I'm more of a fruity or floral, but this is, it does, it's, it's very inviting in my home. So I could appreciate it. So I'm gonna try the Intense this time because it seems like the regular mahogany tea foods aren't really doing it for me anymore. They could just be preference. All right, laundry day. Ooh, very fresh, very clean. Beats clean linen by a thousand percent. Clean linen is so cliche, generic. It's like vanilla to me, and I don't like vanilla. I don't like vanilla by itself. You can put it in something, but yeah. Really love this, so I would burn this um, anywhere. It's 
It's strong. It's not as light and dainty as your bubbly rose and champagne toast, but it's not as heavy as your mahogany teak wood, so it's in the middle. But it's, it smells really nice. I can't wait to try it out. Last one. Oh yeah, bright Christmas morning. Now, this is, I smell like fruit, but I smell like a vanilla or something. Something's heavy in here. But on top, the top notes are fruit is are fruity. I'm wondering if it'll. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, that was way off. I got all the fruit. Ripe red berries, blood orange, crisp and crisp apple. Um, so that I thought I smelled some kind of vanilla, but no, no. Ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. So it's very fruity. I thought it was fruity. And let me give you the notes in um, Laundry Day, Bubbly Rosé, and um, White Tea and Sage. So in Laundry Day, it's fresh air, crisp elactopus, soft lavender, and natural oil, uh, essential oil. So yeah, I can smell everything. Fresh air is in there, yeah, elactopus. That's what I was like, something's heavy in it. Yep, elactopus, and then a soft lavender. And I'm not a lavender fan, but we don't, I like that. Bubbly Rosé. Pink sparkling rose, sweet blood orange, and a splash of cranberry juice. So, this is very much so like mimosa. I remember that raspberry mimosa when I got I'm enjoying that one. It's all right. But I was like, you know what? We're not doing this again. We're not spending all this money. And these were only like, I think I spent like 70 something dollars. So, I didn't go overboard. I got seven candles. It was like 77 78 dollars. Let's see. White tea and sage is sparkling bergamot white tea and fresh sage so but it's so light in here i like it yep so this is what i have you guys thank you for checking it out with me be sure to look into uh tune in for my next one on um my elf cosmetics tomorrow see you later